Hello everyone, today I'm back again with a second tutorial on how to make your Driving Force GT to work with Forza Horizon 3. So I decided to create a more in-depth tutorial because it seems like a lot of people are having issues specifically with the camera being stuck on either side. I recommend you to follow my steps and go with my settings so if you run into any problems I would be able to help you. And once you got the hang of it, you can go with your own customized settings. So we're gonna start by downloading two emulators this time. One X output, which is the main one. I'm gonna leave the links in the description down below so you download the correct versions. So go ahead and download this zip file. And then head to the other link. And this one is called Toka Edit. Now this one is just to find the correct key names on our driving for CT so we don't mess this up. So I'm going to download the 64 bit version because I'm running on a 64 bit system. Once downloaded, extract the files. And then open the X output folder and head to the driver folder. Now um, we're gonna install a driver for the emulator. For those who have already watched my first tutorial, you might probably have one driver installed for the emulator. But I would recommend you to uninstall the driver to, to start with a clean uh, setup. Once installed, Exit the program and head back to the first folder and click on the X output program. Now here you're gonna see all of your controllers connected to your computer. I have an Xbox controller but we're not gonna use any other controller than our Driving Force CT. So you can go ahead and disable anything else other than Driving Force CT. Now just go ahead and uh, minimize the X output and we're gonna head back to the other emulator we just downloaded. So the folder is called X360CE and then uh, start the program. If, you, if any warnings show up, just uh, fix it by creating or whatever that shows up for you. And then it's gonna search automatically for the settings. Just click on next. Make sure you let it finish, otherwise it's, your settings is not going to show up. And then click on finish. And now here you can see the correct key names on your driving for CT. Now what was the purpose for this? The purpose was because X output does not show our um, key names for the driving for CT. We're going to use this emulator to, um, to set up X output. It's a lot easier and it's a lot faster and it's, we're just gonna make sure that we put the correct key names in X output. Okay, so the next step would be to launch Forza Horizon and start setting our keys. Make sure both emulators are open and running. And on the X output, make sure that you have the settings tab open so we can start set our keys as we go. Now I already have Forza Horizon running in the background but I'm just gonna head to my uh, settings and then controls. These settings that I'm ab about to show you guys is for people who don't have a controller. So if you have a controller stick around and I'm gonna show you how to set yours in a few minutes. But if you don't have a controller your default layout is most likely to be set to layout 1. And to eliminate that issue with the camera being stuck on left or right, you're gonna have to switch to layout 10. And the reason why is because on this layout, you don't have your right analog set for your uh, camera movements, but instead you have X for left, B for right, and A for back. Now, you may be a little bit limited uh, to customize your buttons because you don't have a controller but you can still set whatever you want in X output. Now the next step would be setting our keys in X output. So the reason why we have this other emulator up is because now, now that we are about to set our keys in X output, we want to make sure that we put the correct key names. 
so you can see accelerate is RT or right trigger and if we come back to this emulator right trigger for driving for CT is I access to or your gas pedal so now that we know the correct key name uh, for our accelerate we come to X output and we set right trigger to I access to which is an inverted access and then we go back to the game brake is left T or left trigger and what is left trigger on our driving for CT is again inverted access 6 so X output inverted access 6 one thing that I forgot to mention is that you should double check to make sure that these are the correct key names for your driving for CT because it might be different for you for some reason. I already know that these are the correct ones so I'm not going to double check everything but I'm going to show you how you can do that. For example, you want to make sure that your uh, gas pedal or your acceleration is in fact I access 2. All you have to do is to click on this uh, record button and then push down on your gas pedal. And it is actually I access to. So let's double check the brake. Click on record and then push down on your brake. And it's also correct. And uh, so yeah, do the same thing with all the rest of the buttons that you actually gonna use. You don't have to use those, but the ones that you're gonna put on X output to make sure that these are the correct key names so you don't uh, mess it up. Okay, so let's continue with our setup. We already have our accelerate and brake, which are right and left triggers. Now we need the steer left. Steer left is stick axis X, and it, it is named axis 1 on our DFGT. So if we come to X output, it would be left analog X and axis 1. Now, steer right, we don't need that because that is for a controller and not for a racing wheel, so ignore that. E-brake is right stick down. Now, I know we were not supposed to use the right stick at all, but I noticed that people are having issues with the camera being stuck on left or right. So it is okay to use the uh, RS down button. So uh, what we can set it to, like uh, our e-brake could be um, anything you want basically it could be the X on your DFGT or it could be the square or the circle so it is up to you I'm gonna have mine to set to my uh, shifter down and how can I know what is shifter down what number it is I'm just gonna click on record on one of these empty ones and then push down my shifter and it's going to tell me that it's number 13. So if I come to write analog, I'm going to set it to number 13. Now, if I push down my shifter, it's going to activate my e brakes So this is how you can set your, how, can, how you can customize it to what you want. But here you are limited because these, these uh, keys are already assigned for you. For example, you can't have the shifter, you can't have manual shifting because in this layout, there is no shift down assigned. So you gotta have to, you gotta forget about manual shifting. And remember, this is only for people who don't have a controller. If you have a controller, you can set these to whatever you want but you don't have a controller and these are the only ones that we have so you gotta go with whatever that is already on this layout so you gotta forget about uh, manual shifting because there is no shift down assigned which is really stupid I mean uh, what am I just going to go infinite and never break so it's uh, this layout is kind of stupid for manual shifting so forget about that and let's continue with rewind rewind is Y I like rewind to be set to Y so what is Y Y is set to number four so Y would be number four and then switch camera is not set 
again a flaw you can use your keyboard um, look left is X um, you could set it to X if you want to look left but honestly I don't want I don't want it to be a look left for but for this purpose not to confuse you guys I'm just gonna set it to X X is number two number two and then B is my right camera so I'm gonna set it to number three and A is look back so I'm gonna set it to number one again you can set your camera or you can set any keys to what you want you could set these uh, to your d-pad for example let's let's let me show you if you want to uh, use your d-pads for your camera movements for example a is look back right so d-pad and then down or your B is look right d-pad right and then your X which is look left is gonna be d-pad left and now you have your d-pads for your camera movement so you, you have um, a B and X or um, your X square and the pyramid I think free uh, on your DFGT so you could you, you could set these bottom to something else and yeah I'm, I'm just gonna fast forward because this is going to take a lot longer to set these so I'm just gonna fast forward um, to the default buttons here but then like I said you could set these to whatever you want okay so once you're done setting your keys in X output you can pretty much go ahead and close the other emulator because we just use that one to find the correct key names for our driving force GT so go ahead and close it and don't save any changes and you could also close this tab but keep the X output application running okay so all you have to do now is to save the changes you made in game for the layout and then exit for the horizon I'm just gonna exit it now and then you're gonna have to start the emulator by clicking on the start button and I'll see you guys in game okay so I'm back in the game and I'm just making sure that the default layout 10 is set to my uh, set for my controller and uh, I'm just gonna try to see if the view actually okay so to people who have a controller you have more freedom because you can come in the game and create a custom controller profile using your controller of course and then match those keys to your x output now the reason why you would want to create a custom controller profile is that maybe you want to use the manual shifter or you don't want anna for example set to your keys uh, you want something else you can do that because you have the controller but one thing that you need to make sure is that you don't set any keys I repeat you don't set any keys for your camera movement otherwise you're gonna have that stock camera issue so make sure you don't set any keys for the camera movement and make sure that these required mappings are set otherwise you won't be able to save your profile what you can do is go ahead and copy my um, layout and then copy my X output layout too and you are good to go. You won't have any problems with the camera and your wheel is just gonna work as fine. But remember that you're gonna still have the issue with um, menu navigation. That is not up to you and me. That is a bug 
um, in, from X output so we can't do anything about that we're just gonna have to um, go with it for now until um, Microsoft or the creator eventually adds a support for driving force GT so I'm just gonna scroll down and draw my layout so you can save mine As you can see, I have not set any keys for my camera movement because it's gonna make my camera stock again. So make sure you don't set any keys for your camera. You could also use the manual shifting because now you have the freedom to set shift up and down and the clutch if you're using a build other than driving for CT. So here's my settings in game and then go ahead and copy my uh, X output settings as well and then save your layout in game close this tab and run the emulator start the emulator and relaunch Forza Horizon and you should be able to use your wheel now without your camera being stuck on left or right Okay, so this is it guys. I hope that this second tutorial was more clear and it helped you to make your driving for CT to work with Forza Horizon. If you had any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to help you. I would really appreciate it if you would give my video a thumbs up as I have spent a lot of time trying to make this tutorial for you. Subscribe to my channel for more Forza Horizon videos and I will see you in Australia.